Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here. I hope that you already went through our previous video and that you have tried and replicate the result that we were getting before. If you haven't done it yet, please go back to the previous video and make sure you have got the relationship between del and x. So now let's carry on and get our drag force. Now that we know that the boundary layer thickness for turbulent is del equal to 0.378x divided by rex to the power of 1 over 5. And remember, this is for power law that is using u over u infinity that is equal to y over del 1 over 7, right? And if this number is 8 or 9 depending on the Reynolds number, this relationship would be different okay but now we are focusing on n equals 7 which is the power law is to the power of 1 over 7 we know that tau is needed in order to get the drag force all right so let's take a look at what is our tau right i think we've got our tau before so this is our tau right so tau is equal to rho u infinity square d over dx 7 over 72 del right and now i'm going to replace this del inside this equation okay so rho u infinity let's take 7 over 72 out d over dx and del is equal to 0.378x divided by rex to the power of 1 over 5. Now, you have x inside this term. So, we need to disassemble it so that we can get the x. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take this number out as well. So, this is now rho u infinity square right forgot the square 7 over 72 times 0 0.378 okay d over dx we have here x divided by so rex is u infinity 1 over 5 x 1 over 5 divided by nu so i'm going to take nu up here so 1 over 5 okay and we're going to end up with Let's calculate 7 times 0 0.378 divided by 72. This is going to be 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divided by u infinity 1 over 5 d dx and now x is 1 minus 1 over 5. This is x 4 over 5. Okay. And we're going to differentiate this. So 4 over 5, I'm going to put it in front. 4 over 5 times 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 u infinity 1 over 5. This is going to be x minus 1 over 5 so this is perfect because these terms are going to be Reynolds number okay so if I do 4 divided by 5 times 0 0.03675 this is equal to 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square divided by R E X to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, there you go. This is the relationship between the wall shear stress and X. Okay, and we know that if we want to get F D, this is getting simpler and simpler. So F D is just the integration from 0 to L of tau times dx. Okay, but before we go to F D, let's find the Local skin friction which is CF that is equal to tau divided by half rho u infinity square. So that's going to be 0 
rho u infinity square divided by 1 over 2 r e x to the power of 1 over 5 rho rho u infinity square and this is an easy we can cancel this out quite easily okay and to bring it up top so this is going to be c f equal to 0 0.05 Divide by R E X to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, and this is the relationship between C F and also X. Okay, so now at any X, you know what is the local skin friction coefficient. Okay, next we can move on to the drag force. This is what we are here for, right? The drag force. Okay, and drag force is simply, let me write it again for you. So, FD is summation or integration or from 0 to L. This is tau times dx. Okay, so we have the tau term which is 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square divided by Rex 1 over 5 times dx and integrate everything. Okay, as usual, right, as usual, you have x in this term. Okay, so again, we're going to dismantle it and integrate the x. Any other parameters than x, I'm going to take it out of the integration. So this is going to be 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square. Integration of 0 to L. This is 1 over... So, Rex is u infinity 1 over 5, x 1 over 5, divided by nu. So, I'm going to put nu up here. Okay, and this is going to be integrated against x. Right, and again, I'm going to take whatever that is not x, I'm going to take it out of the integration. Right, so this is 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divided by u infinity 1 over 5 integration from 0 to l now x is minus 1 over 5 dx okay and what do we get when we integrate that we're gonna get i'm gonna write it here so fd is equal to 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square no 1 over 5 u infinity 1 over 5 we have x to the power of 4 over 5 right divide by 4 times 5 this is from 0 to l okay so 4 and 5 okay let's delete here okay so 0 0.0294 times 5 over 4 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divided by u infinity 1 over 5 x 4 over 5 and as usual I'm going to manipulate something in order for this to be grouped together and form the Reynolds number equation and the easiest way to do it is simply multiply both up and down the denominator and denominator with x to the power of 1 over 5 divided by x to the power of 1 over 5. So what I just did is that I'm going to put x here. So this forms a group of Reynolds number, right? Okay, and these two terms becomes x, right? These two terms becomes x. Okay, so finally, we're going to end up with FD equal to 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square x divided by Rex to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, and this is another relationship that you get. Okay, so that's it guys. That is the drag force. Uh, but finally, we have the skin friction coefficient right 
coefficient which is cf is equal to fd divided by half rho u infinity l. Okay, I think I made a mistake here because we need to put in l, right? So we need to put in l inside the x, okay? So everything here is actually l. Okay, this is l, this is l, and this is also l. Right, and what happens when we do that? Okay, let me erase this. Okay, so this is now L, right? And what happens when you divide it by half rho u infinity square L, right? And this is going to be your CF is 2 times 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square L divided by. R E X to the power of 1 over 5 rho u infinity square L. Okay, how convenient is that? Right, just cancel these two out and you're going to end up with 0 0.0735 divided by R E X to the power of 1 over 5. And that is your Final equation for CF, right? Let me write this CF here. Okay, and that's it guys. Uh, for turbulent boundary layer and using the power law, by using u over u infinity equal to y over del to the power of 1 over 7, you end up with all this relationship. Okay, let's see what we have found. Okay, first, we have found that tau is equal this for turbulence. Okay, and then we end up with the boundary layer thickness relationship with x. Okay, once we get that, we can find the CF, right? And once we do CF, you get the FD, that is the drag force. Okay, and finally, you end up with the local skin, uh, sorry, the skin friction coefficient. Okay, so that's basically it for turbulent boundary layer. And if I have here the flat plate okay and this is a very long flat plate okay usually lamina is just here and the rest is just turbulent okay so lamina occupies a little bit of portion only so this is lamina and this is turbulent because we have two definition of drag, right? For lamina, we have FD for lamina. And for turbulent, we have FD for turbulent. So which one do you need to use? Do you need to use force for lamina or do you need to use drag force for turbulent or do you need to do both? Now, it depends and it varies between case to case. Okay, if I call this XT or XC, right? This is the critical Reynolds number. Okay, sorry. This is the critical point where the flow transition from lamina to turbulent, right? And this is the L, which is the total length of the flat plate. Okay. Now, if L is less than 3XC, what does this mean? It means that when you have a plate okay so lamina is here and turbulent is here okay so a significant portion of the flat plate has lamina starting from the leading edge so this is called leading edge okay so lamina and turbulent okay if a significant portion of the flat plate is lamina you're going to need to make some adjustment to the skin friction coefficient okay what you can do is you can use cf equal to 0 0.073 rel to the power of minus 1 over 5 this is what we got before okay this equation right but you need to subtract the lamina portion okay this has to be subtracted by 1000 700 R E L minus 1. Okay, that's it. Right? If the lamina portion is very small, 
okay then you don't have to use this okay you don't have to use this but if you have a lot of laminar flow over the surface then you're going to need to use this equation all right and i think with that all right that is all the derivation that you need to know from lamina to turbulence okay of course there are more derivation if you want to try with the power law of seven the power law of eight and the power law of nine so my suggestion to you is to repeat again and again this video until you can derive it yourself without looking at this video all right that's very important before you move on to the next step because in fluid mechanics you actually build on top of what you know okay so what you know is very important okay let's say yesterday you know lamina boundary layer and today you learn about turbulent boundary layer okay and you cannot understand turbulent without understanding the lamina right that's why if you haven't done the previous video so go to the previous video first that's the rule okay and for this video you have to go through it again and again until you can derive it without looking and then you can proceed to the next video if i do u over u infinity equal to y over del 1 over n right and this derivation is using n equal to 7 right but just for fun try to do with n equal to 8 okay and try to do with n equal to 9 because in the real world in each application it's got a different range of Reynolds number so it's important for you to understand and to try and tackle all the possibilities during the time that you learn this theory so i think that's all from me in this video so i, I wish you all the best in the derivation i'll talk to you soon bye